What's up, creator? Um, welcome back for another video. Here we're looking at XAU USD, or otherwise known as gold, and we're here on the weekly, sorry, daily time frame, and um, we're going to be discussing something that um, people have asked me in multiple different servers, and it's the idea of where do I start from scratch? As in, this chart here is naked, no lines, no POIs, no premium discounts, no liquidity pools, nothing. So how do you go about that? And I've, picked, I've chosen a market that's very popular to trade. So we're just going to dissect into the correct way to um, go about trading something from scratch. Or how do you mark up a chart from scratch? And how do you use the information, the premium discount, the fair value gap, the POI, the liquidity pools? How do you use all of this? And that's exactly what you're here for to learn. And that's exactly what we're going to um, dissect. So as you can see, this is the daily time frame going all the way back to 2010. Now, it's not important to go all the way back to 2010. We don't need to go all the way back there. But what we see here is a break of structure in this region. So this is going to be an example of how you can really start from scratch from a naked time frame, whether it's crypto, forex, commodities, stocks, anything. Here's how you do it. So as you can see, we see a high get broken over here. Now, if we look at our structure over here, we're just going to mark our structure this way. So what we do is, so the black annotation will represent structural highs and lows. We see a shift in the market settlement over here. So we see a change from bearish bearish oh, if I just do it like this we see a shift going from bearish to bullish right and this is exactly what we're going to be marking up so the the black structural annotation represent highs and lows in the market so we see a high over there a low if we just go into price over here what do we see here we see highs and get created we see a low now we see a high over here on the weekly sorry on the daily and now from here we're just trading in this range so what we do is we've got the weekly we've got the swing low over here and we've got the swing high now a couple of things to just remember with structure is this we're in a bullish market so what we see is we see highs and lows like this now it's important to understand that these points here these higher lows these higher lows these high lows is the lowest point before the boss. So we want to make sure this is the lowest point, okay? The lowest point before we see the boss over here. So the arrow represents the boss. So before we see the break, it's important to understand we must identify the lowest point. That's very important to get our heads around, okay? The lowest point over here, just like this. And this is what we done. This is what we've done over here. Where what we see here essentially is the lowest point before the break, the lowest point before the break, okay? So with that in mind, okay, with that in mind, we'll leave the schematic on over here. With that in mind, now that we've got our structure out of the way, what's the next thing we look at? Our pricing. So I've already done that for you. If I just take that away and do it again, we go from the swing low up to the swing high. Now, what do we see here? We see two things quite naturally. We see discount and we see premium. Now, with these two things in mind, what comes next? So, we've got our structure, we've got our premium and discount. Now, the next thing we want to look for is our POIs. So, our demand zones or our supply zones, or just our POIs in general. So, as you can see, we're in a bullish market over here. We're in a bullish market. So, what do we look for? So, from our swing low to our swing high, what are we looking for? We're looking for a POI. An order block, right? So we an order block. So for example, here. So an order block is something that breaks structure, leaves a fair value gap, and is priced in the discount if we're looking to buy, or it's priced in the premium if we're looking to sell. So with these three things, as in our structure, our pricing, and our POIs, we haven't identified our POI, so let's go and do that now. So what makes a POI? The three things I've just said, right? So the three things. So what we're looking for is three things. I'll put them on the screen just over here on your left. Okay, so the three things we're looking for is a break of structure right a break of structure the second thing we're going to look for is a fair value gap and the third thing we're going to look for is pricing pricing meaning premium against discount okay premium against discount that's important to understand so from here we begin to mark out pois areas of inefficiency so as you can see we see an inefficiency in this region of price over here so this is an inefficiency in price a fair value gap in this region price has not been delivered fairly in this region okay so we just mark that in over here. POI in this region, okay? 
in the discount, deep in discount, okay? Now, it's important to identify we have other POIs in this region as well, other candles that leave imbalances, one of them being here, and one of them being here, okay? Where we also leave FLLE gap, okay? Excellent, we'll just get rid of that. As you can see now, this POI has been violated so we can get rid of it. But just as you can see, we see the overall sentiment when it comes to looking at a naked chart. From naked all the way to we've considered structure, we've considered pricing, and we've considered our POIs. Areas of inefficiency, as I've said. Now, what's the next thing we could look at on this chart? Liquidity. So we've seen structure, we've seen POIs, we've seen premium and discount. Now, we're going to be looking at liquidity. And as you can see, we see a weak high over here, followed by another high, another high, and another high. Okay. So if I just move the premium and discount tool to the side, what we see here is a ton, a ton of liquidity, because this is the daily time frame. This is external range liquidity. Now, the reason why it's internal, external range liquidity is simply because we see it outside the structural range, right? So here, for example, we are inside the range over here. This is all inside the high and the low. But this is external. This liquidity here is external to the range. And therefore, we treat it as external liquidity because it's outside the range. Okay. So now with all this in mind, we see we've gone from a naked chart just to understanding how we can dissect price from a structural um, perspective, looking at POI, looking at where our liquidity pool is. Now from here, we can begin to dissect the bias. We can look at an overall bias just on the daily time frame. We've not even gone to the four hour, the 50 minute, the five minute where traders think the magic happens. No. We build a narrative from the daily. So as you can see, we're structurally bullish. We've come into a discount. Yes, we haven't quite mitigated um, the POIs, which is fine. We've had a discounted low. We've had a discounted low. So from here, the question is what we like to do. Now, we have a, a massive pool of liquidity over here. So our natural inclination as a trader is to see, okay, we've had a discounted low. Now, we could really be looking to target that external range liquidity, just off the daily, nothing else, nothing else, okay? So now, we, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to make this into a straight, get rid of this, and we'll go down to the four-hour time frame, where we can begin to dissect even more structure in more detail. So as you can see, on your charts right now, we have some basic four-hour structure. Now, you want to ask yourself as a trader, where was the shift in structure? Now, it's pretty clearly in this region, right? So what you can do is you can mark out your structure in a different color I recommend from the high. So we'll make this orange because it's daily structure. We mark, out the, we mark out the high and we just mark out the low from the most recent high to the most recent low. So we have highs and lows in the market being printed highs and lows. And we see another high over here. And we see price come down and make a low. We see price make a high. And we see price make a low over here. Now what do we see? We see a shift in the four hour structure in line with the daily intentions to sweep the external range liquidity as we discussed. We see a break of structure over here. And now what do we see? We see price make a high. We see price make a low. And now we see price make another high. So essentially what we're doing now is we do the same thing on the daily as in the four hour. So what we do is we take the fib tool or the premium discount tool from the swing low all the way up to the swing high just over here. Now we do the same thing. Notice how the markets are fractal, right? So we did it on the daily time frame. We identified our massive liquidity pool over here, which is something we're going to be targeting, right? So if we go down to the four hour time frame, what do we see? We see that same pool of liquidity in this region over here. But now what do we see? We see another clean break in this region over here. So we see a break of structure in this region. And now we do the same thing. We do exactly the same thing. We look for our POIs which in this case is pretty obvious where it is, we see a massive inefficiency over here, right? And we have a we have an inefficiency in this region over here. So this would be our POI, a very wide POI, just to keep things simple for everyone. We don't go into too much refinements on YouTube. That's more for the members, but if we just uh, bring price over here, we see a massive, we see a four hour inefficiency get filled in this region over here before continuing higher in line with the trend, okay? So as you can see now, we see a deep discounted low in this region over here massive deep discounted low in this region right so we see a discounted low if i can spell we see a discount we see a discounted low 
which means that we've fulfilled we've fulfilled our um, structural ranges right we feel we fulfilled our structural ranges in a healthy way so what we see here is we see price giving us a healthy diet of highs we come back down in mitigate an order block from here before continuing higher and that's exactly what we see here so we see price giving us the essentially picture perfect entry on gold in this region over here before continuing higher all from a naked chart like we did at the start right so now just a quick thing to note is when it comes from an analytical perspective when you're looking at charts you want to see where's the next pool of liquidity like we did on the daily because the daily time frame is all the way here right so we see a massive pool of liquidity of one two three coming up to four touches on this um so-called trend line that a lot of traders um will trade off right so as you can see we see a massive pool of liquidity again in the four hours starting from here going one touch two touch three touch four touches right so we see another huge trend line get liquidated in this region over here that's interesting the market just moves from liquidity pool to liquidity pool right so we see a liquidity pool here that's about to get swept going on to the daily liquidity pool over here potentially to an all um all-time new high so if you're looking at this in november um 2023 we could see an all-time new high there's nothing in gold stopping that okay so as you can see we see another um another case where we can begin to look at structure pois fair value gaps and we can begin to take a chart naked chart and then add annotations to it to build a bias to build an educated bias which is what you should be doing in forex commodities crypto stocks no matter what it is this is the um path that you should be following in your trading from naked chart to having a bias right so if we go down to the 15 minute time frame now we're just going to quickly dissect a trade you can take using the amd model we're going to go over a bullish trade obviously because the structure is bullish and the order flow is bullish going to sweep some of this liquidity so we're just going to dissect trade we're going to dissect a quick gold buy that you could have taken i don't personally trade gold myself so um just going to have to quickly sieve through the chart and see what can be taken so the idea is to buy below the asian range wait for accumulation study manipulation and buy the distribution that's exactly what we're going to break down over here on the 15 minute time frame if we see any clean trade setups ah uh, here's one here's one just out just randomly so as you can see we have an accumulation the asian range which is in orange so the asian range is in orange over here we see price sweep the asian high in this region we see price come down sweeping the asian low before giving us a break of structure okay now we look to buy the distribution bullish so as you can see over here we had a fair value gap in this region over here so you could have taken the trade over here stop loss just below the due to swing and we had obviously there was huge potential over here because we're in line with the higher time frame order flow i think this is even a 1 to 10 or 1 to 15 or 1 to 20 whatever crazy rr it was it's not about the rr it's about understanding the trade okay so what happens here let's break it down let's break this trade down for everyone so what we see here is an accumulation in terms of the asian range now the asian range builds liquidity if you haven't watched some of my previous videos on this i highly recommend you check it out we see price sweeping the asian high enticement of early buyers we see price come and sweep the low those early uninformed buyers get swept out now we look to buy the distribution just like this we aim to buy the bullish distribution going up higher and that's exactly what you see over here for a one to crazy rr trade just following the order flow because we know the daily structure is bullish right we marked out from a naked chart remember naked chart structure premium discount four hour same thing premium discount structure liquidity pools 50 minute time frame gave us a beautiful entry using the amd to get involved in the markets so quick recap structure supply and demand and liquidity the three things you need from a naked chart to having a bias in your trading and understanding these will get you light years ahead of anyone who's still struggling in any other forms of trading so if you like this video give it a like give it a thumbs up and i look forward to seeing you all in the next one peace